What's going on guys, get you one 2 3 oh here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can pull your cars in the back of a semi-trailer and then proceed to transport your cars inside of that semi. You can fit up to two or three cars, 16 motorcycles, and an entire lobby worth of players. So this is definitely awesome, it's great for ambushes, role playing, crew battles, and it's just downright cool. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video. If you enjoy the video and you find the information helpful, then please remember to leave a like, it shows me your support, I would greatly appreciate it. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that you need to do is find a big goods truck. It has to be big goods. It can't be clock and bell. It can't be anything else because the doors on those do not open correctly. It needs to be big goods because it has a door that folds down towards the road while all the other semis just have two swinging doors that don't allow you to pull a car into. So here's the location that you are going to want to go to. This is the Polito Bay area right at the top of the map here. And this is where you're going to have the best chance of finding one of these big goods trucks. I'm just going to tell you now that it took me a long time. I had to switch lobbies multiple times and I must have looked for one of these for probably two hours between all the attempts that I gave it. So sometimes you'll get lucky and there will be 10 of them driving every which way down the road. Other times you're going to have to keep switching lobbies until you find one. But once you find one, they're everywhere. So once you find one of these trucks, you're going to want to take it somewhere a little secluded. You don't want to be right in the middle of public because you are going to need to be firing a gun and you don't want to gain a wanted level because that's just going to make this entire thing a lot harder. So I just drive down this dirt path here and this is far enough away to where I can fire my gun without gaining a wanted level. So you're going to want to get out of the truck and start shooting the back door with an assault rifle. As you can see here, I'm using the shotgun and it's not working. But as soon as I switch to an assault rifle, it's going to open right up. As you can see, just three shots and just like that, it pops right open. So use an assault rifle right off the bat. Don't bother wasting your shotgun ammo. And what you're going to want to do is shoot the top of the door like this until it gets low enough to where you can climb on top of it. You are going to need to shoot it quite a few times because each bullet only moves it about an inch. So you're going to have to unload quite a few rounds into it just to get it low enough. But then once it gets down to a certain height, you will be able to jump right on top of it, and then as you can see here, just shooting it like this, it drops right down. So at this point, the door is entirely down, and now we are ready to move it back to where we need it and put our cars inside. I decided to drive it right by the bulldozer spawn because the bulldozer is going to be easy to close the back door. Because obviously, once your cars are inside, you're going to want to close the door so they don't fall out. So I parked it right here in front of the bulldozer, and my personal vehicle is just a few feet away. So after a short run, I got to my personal vehicle, and you can see the truck right in the background over there. So we are going to drive it over to the truck, and we are going to pull it right into the back of the trailer. Obviously, don't hit it too fast. You don't want to do too much damage to your car or the trailer. So just get enough speed to get up that little ramp, and then as soon as you're in, you can get out of your car and remember for this example I'm only doing it with my own car but realistically you can do this with an entire group of friends put multiple people in back whatever you want to do make it a lot of fun so at this point here I'm using the bulldozer to close the door and this is actually I think a glitch here see how the door is closing on its own right now I don't think that's supposed to happen it didn't do it any other time however this was the only time that I recorded it so uh, the door did go up on its own but just to show you here what you can do with the bulldozer is just kind of push it shut then and it makes it a lot easier what's nice about this is that the trucks and the bulldozer pretty much spawn in the same uh, proximity. They're both in Polito Bay, so it makes this whole thing really convenient. However, I should add that the bulldozer is not the only method to close the door. There are other ways. You can get a low sports car and drive it underneath the door to start lifting it up and then hit it with your player's head and then getting back in the vehicle. It'll actually start going up on its own after your head hits it. Things like that. You gotta experiment a little bit, but for this example, I used the bulldozer, but see what also works for you. From this point here, you can start driving your semi around and you you have a car in the back. You can take it wherever you want. And if you're playing with friends, then maybe you have 10 people back there, two cars, a couple motorcycles, and you're going to go ambush some guy out in the desert. You know, it's really up to you. This is going to really uh, set you up for a lot of role playing opportunities. Anything that you can really think of, it'll all be fun. So with that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little video today. This is just a nice little trick that uh, honestly I wasn't aware of, even though it's been in the game since day one, but I did not know that this trailer opened this way and then that you could even close it afterwards. So this is definitely cool. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it, show me that support, and uh, with that, please stay tuned for more videos in the future. I will see you next time.